Hey there, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to optimize all the textures in the game. So let's get started. Um, since we are working on a mobile project, um, optimization of the package size and uh, reducing the GPU load, um, considering all the textures that are going to be loaded into the uh, memory and GPU at the same time is a huge deal. So how we can optimize it? So if you go into the content browser, if you have a really good uh, folder hierarchy, then you're fine. You can just go ahead into the textures folder and bam, you have all the textures in it. But if not, you can just type in texture and you have the texture type. It will show all the textures you have in the game. So what I always recommend you do is just go ahead and, uh, for example, uh, using shift, select all the textures and right click uh, asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix. Yeah, in the maximum texture size, I'd always recommend starting with 512. So just type 512 in here I'm not going to do that since it's gonna um, it's gonna take a while to do that so make sure you take your time it's gonna take some time so 512 let's start with 512 I've already done that so um, this is what 512 looks like okay am I happy with it does something look bad and if something does look bad let's go ahead and fix it for example I'm not really happy with the way um how this floor looks so i'm just going to click on it open up the material um find the textures i'm using so for the albedo texture i have this one it doesn't really look good so what i'm going to do is in the compression at advanced it's set to uh, 512 since we've set all the textures in the game to 512 maximum texture size uh, let's go ahead and crank it up a little bit okay it looks a little bit better that's great remember uh, optimizing a scene it's not going to sacrifice the look of the game you should have the best look and the best performance ever this was just sacrificing the look of the game I don't want to do that so make sure make sure you don't do that all the time but on the other hand we have the um, normal texture and roughness texture so let's start with roughness texture we will probably not going to be having a lot of uh, roughness in this scene so I'm just going to change this probably to 256 to see the difference It's going to make a difference so I'm not gonna change that one let's go ahead and see the um, normal map okay let's see so 256 for normal map okay so it doesn't change at all I mean I'm at least I'm not seeing anything so this is good. This is something that we could uh, reduce the texture size. So uh, my take from all this is that if some texture uh, is not going to look good, just crank it up to 1024. If a texture's uh, change to 256 is not going to impact the look of the game, then change it to 256 if you're working on mobile. On the other hand, AO texture is not going to really uh, have a big impact on everything. So I'm just going to put 256 on uh, AO texture as well. Um, something else I want to show you is that in the project settings, edit project settings, this one, in the rendering tab, type in texture streaming this one should all should be always enabled this is really important and how you can control it is uh, in the uh, console command r.streaming.poolSize 
if you hit enter it's right now it's set uh, at a thousand which means a thousand megabytes for uh, streaming the textures in and out you can reduce it uh, for mobile devices I've always I mean let's do together uh, streaming dot pool size uh, hit one and then you'll see that I have 594 megabyte of textures that are streamed in that's a lot of textures we could reduce this by optimizing all the textures in the game so we did optimize it to floor texture together we could go ahead and optimize all the textures of the walls of the TV of the controller of everything of all the books um, let's put it back to normal streaming dot pool size back to a thousand. Something else you can do regarding this is um, if you go into late, I mean it should be on the SM5 or SM6 previewer. Uh, in the optimization view modes, you have the required texture resolution. So, for example, in the um, in the controller. You can select it and select the texture that's being used in it. I mean, this is uh, a shared texture that's being used everywhere. So my camera, my player camera should be something like this. If it's red, it means that it's, it's a, the resolution is not enough. It, the resolution should be more than this. But we are working on mobile devices and the LCD is really small much smaller compared to a TV or um, a PC monitor. So this should be good. I mean, it's 1024, right? So it, it should be good. Um, everything else is green. So everything is really good, really well optimized. You can go ahead and, um, for example, on this one, you can go ahead and for example AO is mostly red because we've reduced it drastically but it didn't really change the look of the game so you have two methods to know if one texture's um, resolution is high enough is good enough or it's super low resolution one is by just looking at it and deciding whether you want to reduce it or not or by using the required texture resolution method I believe the first method will actually work really really well you can afterwards you can package the game and uh, try it on your own phone to see whether the textures work really well or they do not look really uh, what you'd expect from them and um, that's pretty much it I hope this video helps you and if it did help please hit that like button and have a great day bye